And honestly, I wasn't sure if I would like this scent. I don't know why, because it sounds like I would, but I, I just didn't know, to be quite honest. Again, it has the jasmine in it, and I'm not sure if I like that, but clearly I must. And this is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. When I tell you, this was honestly my favorite one. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Right away, I'm picking up a very strong perfume scent, so a little bit goes a long way. These really do last. And right away, you instantly pick up the cherry and the almond, I find. So the top notes are cherry, almond, and cinnamon, which gives the warmth that I typically like from perfumes. The middle notes are cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. Again, that nice warmth, because I really like warm scented perfumes. And then the base notes are Peru balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. So my favorite scents essentially are vanilla. I love anything vanilla and warm and spicy. And this delivers. Mmm. And you get the cherry and the almond scent in the best gourmand way possible. But it's not overly sweet because it's really mellowed out with the cloves and the cinnamon. And this is such a nice smell. And this definitely, the cherry almond makes it feel summery, but again, cloves and cinnamon, you could definitely carry this over to fall and winter as well. This is so nice. So again, dossier, delicious. And I'm really loving this so much to the point that I'm going on my honeymoon and I'm going on my honeymoon very soon. And I want to bring with me, I think, because scent is so tied to memory. I want to bring with me a new scent and this is definitely new for me so I think I'm going to maybe pack this with me on my honeymoon we'll see one of these new scents that I have because I sort of want to then smell this down the line and just be reminded of my honeymoon and wedding and things like that I think that's really sweet so I'm definitely thinking that this almond cherry is a contender just been loving this so far. It is so good. So yeah, feel free to shop this as well. Next, I want to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite perfumes since I was honestly really little. And this is a very mature scent for like someone to wear when they're 13 years old. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is Hypnotic Poison. And this is by Dior. And my friend in elementary school got me into this. And then I purchased this. And then I got both my sisters into this. And my mom. And various other friends and family members throughout the time. And that is because this... Honestly, this reacts... To, as all perfumes do. But truly, this reacts differently with everyone's scent. But it smells so good on everyone. There's this note that I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm going to look up the perfume notes. But it's like this. I don't know if it's a powdery smell, but it's so delicious. And this to me is a scent that I bring out in the wintertime and then again in the summertime. It's sort of like my changing of the season scent. Hypnotic poison. And I feel like hypnotic poison perfume notes the notes because this is delicious and I want to honestly understand what the heck I like about this so much. <laughs> okay, so the main accords are vanilla, sweet, almond, fruity, nutty, powdery, woody, coconut, floral, definitely all my favorite notes. I love vanilla. I love sweet. I love almond. A little fruity and then when you get into the nutty, powdery, woody, so that's why I love Hypnotic Poison by Dior. It's so good. And it says the top notes are coconut, plum, apricot. I honestly don't smell any coconut whatsoever. The middle notes are Brazilian, rosewood, jasmine, caraway. Seems like a theme where I'm liking jasmine, so who knows. And then tuberose, rose, and lily of the valley. Base notes are vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. When I tell you that this is one of like the sexiest scents out there, it is so good and I feel like the 
This is the kind of perfume that just sits really well on someone. Oh, and this takes me back so much to the point that I don't even associate it with any particular memory because I've honestly been wearing this like for a very long time, longer than I should say. Over a decade for sure. And this without fail is the one perfume that always gets me compliments. use perfume sparingly like I'm a big hoarder you should see my entire perfume collection it's very vast but this is one perfume that I will never not have on me and that's Dior Hypnotic Poison so if you're wondering what I smell like it's probably that a lot of the time next I'm going to end with a really strong one but this is the second last perfume I'm going to talk about I think this is from Maison something or other. It doesn't say on here because I have another perfume by this company. So I'm going to have to look that up as well. I like that with Dosia. I don't have to look up the scents because they just have them written on the bottle, which is sort of nice because then you can become familiar with perfume notes that you like. So this is called Oud Sahara Le Monde. Yes, so this is by Le Monde Gourmand, and this is Oud Sahara. This is perfume oil. No, this is not an oil. This is just a perfume. And this is quite affordable as well, which is why I really like it. I found this, funny enough, at Marshalls, or Winners, or Home Goods, or Home Sense. It depends if you're American, Canadian, or so on. And this apparently has rich notes of vanilla, exotic woods, and bergamot. This scent is so delicious. I wore this, I think, all of last year a lot. You can see how much I've, I've used this. Oh, I found it there. Right away, I'm almost getting like a patchouli smell right off the bat. But I think it's that woodsy. Vanilla, mm, this is like, this again is another really sexy scent and I think this mixes really well with people's pheromones and your, just your skin oils. 30 ml and this is called 007 Oud Sahara Eau de Parfum. And this is so delicious. A really, really, really nice smell. So sexy, woodsy, very, very warm. So this is definitely a warm smell. Less gourmand. Just really nice, really, really, really lovely. And give it a try. You might not like this when you first smell it right off the bat, but then as it sits with your body, I feel like this like this mingles so nicely, at least with me. And then finally, this will be harder to come by if you're in Canada or the States. I think it will be hard to come by anywhere unless you're in Italy. This is Vanilla Vetsenzero. Vanilla Vetsenzero Profumo. By L'Herbolario. And the reason why I have both of these is because I think they discontinued this box and many of the L'Herbolarios that I've go gone to. So this is how it's spelled in case you're wondering.
female, you might see the 15 mil. Very similar. And this is memories for me. Let's see.